The crowd cheer as we knew they would, and Scott Waynes has defeated the number two seed, Ted Hankey. The final score, five legs to three, and Hankey is not a happy man. Welcome to Wolverhampton, Mr. Hankey. This is what it's like at the Grand Slam. Scott Waits and the crowd got right under Ted's skin, I fancy. It's Scott who wins it by five legs to three. Neither will actually be that pleased, I would think, with the stats. Just under 80 for Scott, just under 75 for Ted. Just the one maximum. Five out of 26 Scott Waits doubles, but five, of course, made it, which means two points on the board for Scott. And it means that their group looks like this group. He's Simon Whitlock on top. He will play Scott Waits next. And Ted Hankey, seeded two, will have to take on, as we said, uh, Wayne Marvel. Let's hear from both boys, shall we? They're downstairs with Ned. Yeah, plenty to talk about, I think, with you two gentlemen. I'm going to start with the winner first. Uh, Scott, blimey, you just stumbled over the finishing line there, didn't you, in the end? I think I had too many chances to stumble over the finish line. Um, really, it should have been all over at 5 1. No disrespect to Ted, but that it was really difficult playing out there. Um, I bet Ted's got a bit more to say about that than me, though. Yeah, I mean, Ted, what, what was it like? Because we spoke before that game and you said you're expecting it and you won't let it affect you. Did it affect you? Well, yeah, it did, but I mean, you know, you can take a bit of banter, but that's ridiculous. If that's what you want to call darts, then you can keep it. Because every time I was throwing them, what I was booing, shouting, screaming. If that's what you want to call darts, you keep it, mate, because I don't want to get involved in it, because that's ridiculous. That would never happen at Lakeside. It would never happen in most of the tournaments that we play in the video. That was disgraceful. More order needs to be put in the crowd, because that was bang, bang out of order out there. It's over step to mark in your opinion then? Oh yeah, big time. It's all like getting a bit of banter, but when you're throwing every dart and every dart you're getting booed, and then when you're throwing the shouting miss and shouting, you know, that's ridiculous. If that's what you want to play darts at, then you get on with it. I don't want to be part of it. The thing is, I said, you've got another couple of games in this group phase. I mean, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to deal with it, aren't you? Well, at the end of the day, you know, after being through that, I've got through that again, I ain't bothered. If I've got to put up that again next game, I'm not bothered, really. Because if that's how you want to play darts and you play, I'll go and play the darts and BDO where I play, where we get order, because that is disgraceful. Really. Ted, I can appreciate that sentiment. You're obviously a very angry man, but just a final word, Scott. I mean, congratulations to you. You've got the win, and it's uh, Simon next, and onwards and upwards for you, isn't it? Yeah, I need to play a lot better against Simon, but then again, um, we'll get a bit better order in it, maybe, and yeah, it'll be a good game. Quite looking forward to it. Very difficult match. Well played, both of you. Well done. All right, thank you. Thanks,